Greetings YouTube. I don't use recreational chemicals. I don't smoke, I don't drink, I don't take drugs, I only take prescription drugs when I'm told to. I don't drink soda, coffee, I have tea occasionally. And taking this into account, you'd think that, you know, a teetotaler such as myself would be all for the prohibi pro prohibition of recreational chemicals. And you'd be wrong. If I had the power, I would make all currently illegal drugs legal. Not because I think this is a great solution, but because I think it's the least bad solution to the situation that we are currently living through. Because the situation as it stands, with prohibition against all, pretty much all recreational chemicals, barring alcohol and tobacco, isn't working well. You'd probably be surprised by this, but the two industries that donate the most money to the prohibition work are the tobacco and the alcohol industries, because they want to make sure that their two addictions stay legal. The only people who really benefit from this current prohibition are three groups. The drug lords, of course, they make scads of money. But the other two groups are the police and the prison systems, both of which also make scads of money. And the police get all kinds of powers added on to their authority because they need to fight the war on drugs, which of course has failed miserably for all the years it's been going on. What, it's been, what, 40 now? And it still failed miserably? And at the moment, the Mexican drug wars are beginning to spill into the American soil? If marijuana were legal, there wouldn't be much incentive now, would there? People could get it cheaply, readily, legally, and suddenly drug lords wouldn't have a whole lot of power. Now, I don't actually want people to be using drugs. I think that recreational chemical use is kind of foolish. But if you take away the illegal aspect, and if you make them readily available, cheap, and safe, I think the number of people who actually use them would drop. Not to mention, at least in the case of marijuana, the original prohibition was not created to keep people from getting, getting access to the drugs because they give you, get you high. It was because hemp is used to make paper. And one of the most powerful men in America owned pulp mills and didn't want marijuana, hemp, to be used as paper. So he paid the right kind of politicians and they put a ban on it. And they listed it as a class one drug, which it isn't. And then, to, to cherry on top of this crap fest, to sell the idea to the American people that this drug really should be made illegal, they used racism, bigotry, to sell it. The concept that black men high on grass would be a danger to all those wonderful lily white women out there. They used the same tact tactic when they made cocaine legal. That, again, black men hopped up on cocaine would attack those lily white women. Because nothing sells in America better than racism and bigotry. One of the things I find ironic is that our current marijuana, which is a much better quality than we had around, say, in the 19th century, is thanks to the U.S. Navy. They were attempting to create a better quality hemp to produce ropes for their ships, and in the process, significantly improved the THC levels in the, in the plant as at the same time they were improving its hemp strength. Some of those samples, surprise, surprise, found their way out of the naval labs and into the streets. So the current marijuana we have in the, in the world today, at least in the U.S., is thanks to the U.S. Navy. I don't think that these laws will be changed anytime soon. With any hope, though, within the next 10 years or so, marijuana at least will be taken off the list. And a whole lot of people who are currently being jailed for these silly arrests will stop. Prisons will have less pressure on them. Cops will have just less justification for beating, hazing people in the streets. And maybe we can make some money off the taxes. So even though I don't use these chemicals, I think that people who really want them should, so long as that use doesn't affect others. If you get caught while high committing a crime, I'm all set to throw the book at you. 
But as long as you do it in the privacy of your own home, and it doesn't affect anybody else, I don't care. I don't think anybody else should either. Have a nice day.